guys i finally finished working on the wireshark package a lab wireshark application that you can easily install into your existing or new lava project All right so i added quite a lot of features in this package but right now i just want to show you guys how to install the package so you can get started so i created the short documentation website on wirechatnamo.io.com this url you can just follow it to check out the documentation for now you can just go to installation in here the prerequisites for this is php 8.1 or later lava 10 or later and livewire 3.2.3 or later to install the package make sure you have an authentication you know system already installed set up on your lava project in here i, I already installed a fresh lava application so we're going to use this to install the chat application so in here you can simply copy this command and go to your application and then paste this so we can install via composer okay after that is done we can now go back to our documentation and here we're gonna have to run the installation command now this it will simply publish some necessary assets and create a sim link after copying that we can simply go and paste the command to install wirechat alrighty now after that we can run the migration so we can install the new migration files all right, also at this point, watch hat is already installed. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, we're gonna have to add these so that Tailwind can actually recognize the files that come with Wirechat the resources. So, if you just copy that and go to Tailwind config and add it to your content. Yeah, In here that is done. Now after that, we're gonna have to set up our WebSocket so we can you know, provide real time communication between the users. Now, on now new allow of installations, broadcasting is disabled by default. So, to enable it, you're gonna have to copy this PHP artisan install broadcasting. You can copy or type, but for the sake of you know going faster, we're just gonna copy everything for now. So, paste that. It's going to install broadcasting and then it is actually going to ask you, So, would you like to install Lava or Reverb? Yes, if you want, you can use Pusher. But for this video, I'm going to use Reverb because it's much convenient and faster at this moment. All right, let's wait for that to finish. All right, now this is going to ask us, would you like to build the NPM for broadcasting? Yes, we want to do that. Now, you might already have, you know, Reverb set up. So if you already have, just skip this process and go to the next one. All right, awesome. Now, after doing that, we can go back to our dock. In here, we're going to have to start our Reverb server. Let's copy this. You actually start our reverb server all right yes allow all right lastly now if you go down here we're gonna have to set up our queue workers simply copy this php artisan queue work with the flag of you know the queue for messages and default so that you close this let's go to our composer the json now down here I already have a php artisan queue listen i'm not really a fan of listening because it's much slower it's very slow actually so I prefer queue work so just paste it because we also want to add the queues that we are using for wire chat now that's it now after that you can simply open a new actually I'm already running this you know the composer run dev I can just close this one and then let's run composer run dev again there all right so after that is done now in here go ahead and actually add the trait to our user model so we can start chatting with our users we can go to the overview in here now to access the chats we can go to this route the chats route now if i go it should work if i go and add to the, to the chats route yeah perfect now we have an empty conversation container so let's go back here to get started you can we have to add the chatable trait to your user model or any other applicable model so here if we go to our let's go to our user model in here in here let's let's add the use chatable import this from the namo wire chat trades chatable now this is going to allow the user model to be able to add send messages and receive messages so let's now go to this chat interface and I can show you how to get started. So if you refresh this one in here, the first thing I'm going to show you is button here. This is the button where you can create a chat right inside the chat interface and page. So I can click here and then I can go ahead and search for user I want to chat with. I can just click on one user, say Florence. And then after I go, I'll be redirected to the chat page where I can start sending messages. Let me try to use fake filler here. This one, I can send a message here. I can send more messages like that. And it's all working fine. Right. And also down here, you have your own emoji picker where you can send emojis. Now for this one, 
I'll be honest, I wasn't sure whether to use a floating emoji picker or the one docked like this, but I guess we would find out with time and you guys can let me know what you prefer. You also have a way to add files, you know, videos or photos. So you can add videos here. For example, let me click on files. In here, photos actually, you can add a photo, let's say, of this dog and this cat or this picture there and i can preview the files before i upload i can actually remove some of them and post the ones i like and they're going to appear in the chat like that also you can add files photos loading are separated so you can add let's say i add this compressed zip file and i can also click plus sign to add more before i upload the cv as a developer you'll be able to turn off these features on and off to either allow or both photos and videos or just files or allow none and this will disappear so it depends on you know what you prefer for your application and also as you are chatting you can be able to reply to message i can click reply here and i can reply to this user and i'm going to reply to the message and i can also send more messages all right in here i created a users page where i can show you how to actually create a chat outside the chat interface you'll be able to create a chat in the chat interface and as a developer, you can also turn that feature on and off. If we go to the index, this page I created with Livewire Vault. It here, the button, it simply has a wire click which will go to the chat method. And the chat method, the chat method is this one where you can, you know, it's going to get the user and use this API method to create conversation with. So you can read on the documentation how to extend the functionality beyond the chat interface. It's going to create a conversation with this user and get the conversation and redirect to the route chat with this conversation. So in here, you can actually go and place this anywhere you want in your application. I can send a message to this user saying, hi, there, how are you? Or if I want, while I create the conversation, I can actually add something here like fake, like a default message, real text comes the faker helper. So now if I go back to the users, I'm sorry, here I can click on this user, for example, here. It's going to create a default message using the faker. And I can create more messages with this user. And if I already have a conversation with the user, a new one will not be created. Just use the same one. That's it. The next feature I want to show you is that here I have this home button. Now when you click here, it's going to redirect to the home by default. But you can actually adjust that in the config. So if you go to the wire chat config file. You can change this to whatever you want the home route so by default it's just this one and you can change this to chats if you want so that when you redirect if i go back and then i click here you see it's going to take me to the chats or if i want i can change this to users and then it's going to take me to the users page when i click here like that or well, that's convenient and if you want go to the profile page here you can actually go and send a message from this profile page and it's going to work either way like that. So it's very convenient that way and I'm still adding more features. I want to know what you guys think. All right, one more thing I want to show you guys is the feature for deleting. So let me create a conversation with this user named user. I can send a message saying hi. And for convenience, I have this user set up in this page here that I received here. So I can click here, hi. Now let me just try to reduce this like that so we can see we're chatting with in here i can say hello saying how are you and it's going to be received in real time so it's good but the feature i actually want to show you guys is for example here i can click either to this drop down i can delete this message for me and you see the other user is still having the conversation i mean the message in this conversation i can refresh it and it's still going to appear for this user and i can also choose to delete for me since this is not mine, I'm only going to have two options here. Just delete for me or reply. So I can just delete for me and it's going to be deleted. Now, for example, this message, I own this message. It's on the right. So I can choose here, delete for everyone. And it's going to be deleted even for this other user real fast. So WireChat is smart enough to know not to disturb other conversations as you delete or interact. And if I want, let me just try to send more messages here like that, like that. And also reply from here saying hi with some heart and some love and then with this user for example I can choose to here clear chat history I can clear this chat history and you can see if I open the chat again 
the history is going to be gone there'll be nothing left but for this user i can refresh and it's still going to have here if i go this user is still going to have the chat history you know it's still like present right if i send more messages hello saying i am back for me it's like for this user it's going to be like a new chat entirely but for this one on the right it's going to just be continue where i left off i can also go for example here let me go and delete this chat you see i'm gonna delete the chat and it's not going to appear on the chat list anymore that's how i set it up but if i go and search for this user then i'll be able to see the chat and if i click you see that all the messages are gone and i can continue chatting hello and for this user it's going to be like nothing happened here on the left but for this one on the right it's just going to start from fresh like that so it's a very cool feature that i think you guys are going to like and one more thing you'll be able to create chats but also when you click here you're going to be able to create group and i can create a group so let's say larva group and try to add a profile to this group this picture of a balloon let me also add a description and say testing or if i click next in here i have the option to add members i can choose however how much members i want to add here create you see i now create a group called laravel and if i send a message hello and it's going to appear on the left now i set it up such that blank conversations that are completely blank will not appear on the chat list this is a group i created you can edit these files as the owner and the admin and you can you know check for members here and with members you'll be able to add an admin and they'll become an admin or i can remove dismiss as admin so as the owner you have full control over everyone's you know roles in this group and also i can add members i can add more members to the group and if they already exist just say already added to group like that so here i can click save i'm going to update the members count and add the members to the group another thing is you can click on group permissions here to either allow a few things or not allow for example here the edit group information is not allowed by default for members but admin can of course edit edit group information you can turn off sending messages in this group or you can not allow other members to add other members unless they're admin there are many features i was working on and you can actually try it out i'm still working on it and i'm going to release the actual production version soon so stay tuned that's it there's a lot more features i want to show you guys but you can go ahead and check out the documentation on this website it's called uh, wirechatnamoio.com i'll add it in the description and oh no wait before i forget one more thing i wanted to show is if let me just go to the colors for tailwind another feature that i added the ability to add or change the theme so in here currently we are using the color magenta or something i think so so if you can change the color for example let me pick this color called teal you can go to the config file in here and actually change the color and then you can see if i refresh here the color is going to change for the whole application it's going to change the marker right here and also including the messages here like with this color if i send more messages hello send this message so it's going to change the color has changed you mean drop up for choosing files even the more highlighter has changed i mean if i go to the profile to the info and go to permissions it's going to update the color on every section of the in chat interface so it's a feature i think that can actually be helpful if you want to match the color of the chat to your own application you can try it out feel free and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and stay blessed